Snow White and the Seven Thugs are back on the big screen. By the way, were you paid $1,500 to be a thug? I'm Isaac. This is David. We are back reviewing yet another Snow White trailer. It's been a long time. It's we, been I kind of missed it. We did do the Brett Cooper one, so if you guys want to check that out, it is on our channel, and it's one of the best viewed videos so far. We're, we're super excited about. <laughs> Love Brett Cooper. Had a crush on her until she got engaged, but you know what? It is. She's what it married is. now, and. I'll find my Snow White someday. My, my favorite thing about this video is they delayed releasing it for over a year. Why did they? Because they had regular people as the dwarves. They had every single different kind of race. Everything you can imagine ah. that would make something woke, they did that. And ah. now they had to reshoot stuff, use CGI for the dwarves. <laughs> so we're going to see how fake does this actually look. You're a fake and a phony, and I wish I'd never laid eyes on you. Whoa. Guys, before we watch this, <laughs> comment below on a scale of 1 to 10 how woke you think this trailer is going to be. I'm going to go right now. What do you think it's going to be? Okay, so I think they learned from the previous time, but I think okay. there's still going to be glaring mistakes. Okay. I'm going to say a 7. The original amount was a 10, but okay. I'm going to say a 7. I'm going to say it's going to be a solid 6. All right, let's go. Cool music. Very cool. Well, not really. I Disney mean. invites you. I don't think I've ever seen that. They're trying to be more inviting. Amazing effects. <laughs> so I whistle while you work. They look so fake. Well, if you didn't see before those two pop-ups at the end, she grab, goes and grabs the apple. But my question is still going to be, who's going to save her from that? Because originally in the interviews that she did in the previous yeah. videos, mm -hmm. they don't need a man to save her. Yeah, because she said she, we don't. This isn't the night. Is it the 1940s? We 19, don't, yeah, 1940s. We don't need the man. We don't need the man to save us. Yes, and yes. then they were talking about women empowerment. The whole purpose of Snow White, believe it or not, is the prince to come and save her by kissing her and waking her Femininity up. Femininity at its finest. Yeah, I don't even understand. But for me, I, I, I rated a 6 out of 10, the trailer. There wasn't anything that no, really brought No, the trailer me. quality. Quality. The, the, the only thing I actually enjoyed from it was the... Or the, the music, music was cool. That's the, the music was thing. cool. The, the dwarves, dwarves looked, looked extremely fake. They looked like the... Almost like the Who's from Whoville and the Grinch animated. Welcome, family brothers. Welcome, welcome. It's kind of like if the Who's from Whoville went to McDonald's and had a Big Mac and got real fat. And then went to the North Pole, became <laughs> elves, and had to starve themselves so they could be skinny again. <laughs> the problem I still have is this isn't Snow White. I know people will say, I don't normally care what race you put people in when they're supposed to be whatever role. Imagine the imagine but, the Godfather for example, they put a bunch of people that aren't Italian in there as Italians. Imagine if they put an African king. Yeah. As like, the like welcome to America, Prince Akim, Prince Akim. I'm going out for you cut your shoes. Happy birthday, your highness. Yes, it is my birthday. Why can't you just make new stuff? And she's supposed to be white as snow. Yeah. With rosy red lips. Yep. Which neither that she didn't have either of those. Yeah, my I think my favorite thing is they tried to make this unwoke from yeah. making it woke because everybody online, including us, was absolutely shooting them in the face. Oh yeah, it was great. And I loved we it. were destroying them because they keep trying to do this. And now talking about the film industry, uh, Deadpool and Wolverine. Yep. Ryan Reynolds said that he refused for Disney to have any influence in the movie to the point he wouldn't even do the movie. She Hulk and 
uh, Captain Marvel, Brie, uh, Brie Larson. Worst ever. They actually filmed scenes with them in it. And he said and no. Ryan, and Ryan Reynolds said no. They absolutely can't be in it. And then the She-Hulk girl tries to go and sue Disney for actually having her film some, and then they took it out. Guess what? Guess how much they made in the first three weeks of being out in the box Wasn't office? Wasn't half a billion dollars? No, it's a billion dollars. A billion dollars. They made so a billion Disney, dollars after Disney, three weeks. Can, I want you to look at me, Disney, even though you're multiple people that are horrible. But I don't even want to go there. You, the less woke you are, the more wealthy you will be. Yep. If, if you, you go care, woke, you go broke. If you care about money, you will do this properly. I watched the entire Acolyte. And struggled through it. You did? I actually watched the oh, entire... Oh, come on, dude. You weren't I, supposed to watch no, that. I wasn't supposed to. Shame. 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 Oh, Rotting no. my brain. It's, no, it's just a waste of time. It's no, so it, bad. So it was extremely bad. Yeah. They are rated the worst thing Star Wars has ever created outside of the Christmas special. The what holiday. about She-Hulk? She-Hulk. I didn't watch that. No, I'm saying in terms of ratings. Well, that's Marvel. I mean, which uh, is Disney, I guess. But I'm they're owned about, by Disney. I'm talking about Star Wars. The Star Wars universe, yeah. Um... I just think it's fantastic that they had to push this back a year and actually do animation and reshoot scenes because the audience was so outraged. And yet, it's still going to be terrible. Yeah. We'll still go see it in movie theaters so you guys can yeah, see Yeah, comment it. below what you guys think of this trailer. Uh, For me, it was subpar. The music was the best part of it. Gal Gadot didn't really make me think of an evil queen because she's so good. Gorgeous. I mean, she's supposed to be the most gorgeous of them all that's outside fair. of Snow White. So that's, that's, a, that's a bad take. But we still will go see this. But I still want to know, when is the Daily Wire coming out with theirs? Or was that just a trailer to get no, us No, they're coming out with it. Um, it's going to be uh, middle to late next year. Wow, why is it taking so long? Because they had other projects that they were doing. They were doing Pin Dragon, which is a TV show that they were shooting out in Europe. Yeah. And they that was taking a long time. They don't have the budget or the, the amount of manpower that Disney has. So they can't shoot... 20 yeah. 30 different movies at the same time that's fair well what'd you guys think of this i don't know i mean it's very vague but you can tell where the fakeness yeah. that they had to reshoot and do cgi if you guys like this reaction we do have the reaction to the other snow white trailer below so check that out and let us know what your, th your thoughts but are. we love you guys don't forget to subscribe because we're coming out with all sorts of stuff and it shows that only i think 20 percent of people that watch our content yeah. are subscribed so we appreciate your support we'll see you guys in the next video and always have a good time peace Peace.